Metro Trains is on a recruiting spree ahead of the most significant expansion of our train network in more than 40 years. It's putting hundreds of new drivers through specialised training to prepare for the opening of the new Metro Tunnel. From teacher to train driver, Marina Kelly says the career change was a no-brainer. She's one of 10 new recruits ready to tackle the Metro Tunnel after 55 weeks of intensive training. I like the idea of each day being different. I like the idea of, um, of working really flexible hours, um, which you can do in this job, which is fantastic. And um, it's given me lots of time to, to work on my work-life balance, which, you know, you don't always get with teaching. There are now 1,200 drivers on Metro's books, the most on record, as it gears up for the biggest upgrade to Melbourne's rail network since the City Loop opened in 1981. We're really getting prepared for Metro Tunnel opening in 2025 making sure we've got sufficient train crews to do that. 40 metres below ground, the trains are being tested at full speed through the two nine-kilometre long tunnels, putting the new high-capacity signalling technology through its paces. It really will turn our system into a turn-up-and-go system and modernise it into the sorts of train networks that we see, know and enjoy from overseas. But there's still a lot more work to do. Metro Trains still needs to recruit at least another 100 drivers to fulfil the extra services promised for the opening of the Metro Tunnel. That means, uh, you know, 10 minute services on many of those lines. That means um, greater connection across lines. Bethany Oman, 7 News. Universities around the country 